Hey everyone, it's Kelly here for Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me for another behind the scenes video. This week I need to make some apples to go on the top of my next soap. So I need to make some soap dough because I don't have the right colour that I'm looking for. So I'm going to use the heat transfer method to create my soap dough first up. And I'm actually going to use some of the tips that you guys left me in the bottom of the video when I did the heat transfer method last time to see if I can get some better results. So let's start by weighing out our oils and our life solution. clearing up so we that means it has now all dissolved and is ready to start using now the idea behind the heat transfer method is that you use the heat from off this um, sodium hydroxide and water solution to melt down any of your hard butters and oils that may be in here because we are in summer my only hard oil in here is my palm oil my coconut oil is actually in liquid format this is sitting at an average temperature let's grab that one of it's not 65 I know that we are sitting at an average temp temperature of 80 degrees Celsius or 177 degrees Fahrenheit what I'm going to do this spoon here I always have um, some plain water sitting in my sink just over to the left here and I'm going to pop that straight in there just to neutralize that lye solution mm. alright so what I'm going to do and you guys suggested is just to pour this straight into my oils and then rather than stick blending straight away, um, I was told just to let it sit and give it a stir and allow the heat to start melting it down before I stick blended, which would actually help with how quickly this moves. So I think I've got these oils as melted down as I'm actually going to get them. My mix is sitting at about 43 degrees Celsius, which is about 109, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm now going to do is get my stick blender in here, give it a mix. And the color I'm actually after is just the natural color of the soap. My soap's quite a ivory looking soap, so it's not really white. It's not quite cream. It sits in the middle there, and that's the sort of look I want for these apples so I'm going to get my stick blender in here mix it up and then pour it out for my mold okay so that is much better thank you so much guys for those tips just to let those oils melt down naturally before mixing them up with the stick blender it has left my batter still actually sitting quite smooth and fluid here so i'm going to now pour it into my mold and then i would actually be tempted to use this technique to do some of my more swirly soaps as well so just grab my mold here as i said i want this to be the natural color of the soap so i'm going to just pour this straight in here and then I'm going to leave this one set up overnight and then we will come back and we will make our apple shapes for the next soap. Okay, so I am back with my piece of soap dough here and what I am going to do is just break it up a little bit. It's still really soft in the middle here, but all I'm going to do is just break it up into a few chunks here. I think it's too soft to start actually doing anything with. It's still going through its bit of saponification here. 
Okay, so they are all broken up. It is too soft and sticky to be doing anything with right now, but I don't want it to be exposed to the air for any longer so it doesn't dry out. So you often hear me talk about my soap dough box and here it is. So it's just a regular box that I've got. I have these pieces wrapped up with some biodegradable um, cling film, but I've decided I don't like using that because I can never get them wrapped back up properly and they do dry out. So instead what I've got is some biodegradable um, or some degradable sandwich bags and that is what I'm going to be keeping this in because then I can just keep reusing these bags. So what I'm going to do is pop these into these bags for a couple of days just so that it can um, finish saponifying and it will become a lot easier to work with. Okay, so my soap dough has been sitting here for a couple of days and just resting. I'm just going to grab some out of this bag to start with. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a massage there just to start getting it so it starts to mould nicely. I've just got a bit of rubbing alcohol here. I'm just going to spray my hands just to stop it from sticking to me. And what I'm going to do is roll these round into a nice round ball. Now when I was originally trying to decide how to make these apples, first of all I thought I could actually roll them out flat and then cut them all out into the little shapes. And I was kind of thinking that's going to take an awful long time to do that. So my next sort of idea is I am going to roll these up into some balls so that they hopefully look a little bit like a peeled apple. I'm just going to let that sit for a couple of minutes just to lose some of that tackiness and then I will end up cutting these up into little apple pieces. So I'm just going to roll myself a couple of these first and then I will get to cutting them up. shapes here now. What I'm going to do is let them sit here for about half an hour just to start firming up on the outside and then I'll be back and we'll actually cut these up into little wedges of apples. Okay so these have been sitting here for about half an hour now and I'm ready to cut them up. They are still going to be soft in the middle but at least the outside of them um, isn't going to get all sticky on me. All I'm going to start off by doing is chopping them in half and oop, I just don't want to squish it too much. Okay, we're through. We've got a little bit of a squish bump, but that's going to be easy fixed. Then what I'm going to do is cut these into little wedges so that they look like little pieces of apple. The soap is still soft on the inside of here, but you'll get the sort of general idea of it. So that's going to look like a little piece of apple. And then what I'm going to do just in the middle here, just going to manipulate it with my fingers just a little bit to make it look like the middle has been taken out. So it's on a bit of a sort of crescent shaped. So I'll get some of these also chopped up. like perfect pieces of apple here this is okay because we've got some other things to do on the top of this soap it is really just to kind of give that illusion that there's some apple pieces on this next soap that we're going to do so I hope you've enjoyed watching me make the embeds for this weekend's soap if you did why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can with any questions that you may have if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and if you hit the little bell sign, it will let you know when I bring up the weekend video that will be using these apple slices in it. So thank you again so much for watching and until the weekend, I hope you have a good one. Bye.